I have been sent this £7,000 black box, which to be honest, could be a bit of a game changer. Guys, you join me very early at Sanford Springs. I'm about to travel to Ireland for my cousin's wedding tomorrow, but this box arrived yesterday. But we do full honesty, full transparency in all my videos, and this has been gifted to me for free, lent to me over the next six months for free. And there'll be links in all descriptions and all videos going forward that if you were to click and then purchase something off their website, I get a kickback, five, 10%, can't remember what it is, off this thing so that I may then own it outright in the future. But even if this thing was 500 pounds, thousand pounds, like there are a lot out there on the market, you still don't need them to be good at this game. All this thing does behind me is just add another string to a bow of a club fitter or a golf coach, or potentially a very good golfer working on their swing that they are doing what they thought they were doing at impact. I feel like I've covered all bases there. I'm extremely excited. Let's open it. And we'll be hitting this thing at the end of the video, my Frankenstein five degree A-flex driver, which I built and goes absolute monster. And I know it goes absolute monster because I've hit and played with it many times. The good thing now is I can actually prove it with this thing. Now, this will be the first time testing and using the piece of equipment, but obviously I got it out yesterday, charged it, registered it, did all the bits that I needed to do. And I have used Foresight products in the past, GC2, GC Quad, and I was actually fortunate enough to have GC2 lended to the channel. The issue is testing secondhand equipment. If I test a Stealth versus, I know, TaylorMade M2, for example, and I go, look, the M2 is exactly the same, but you have no club data, you could easily say I'm just swinging the M2 faster. This here all software including at seven thousand pounds is exciting for someone in my profession as coaching club testing you name it is somewhat coming into the realms of a young professional and if i'd been 20 21 22 23 pro shop assistant just growing my coaching basis this would now be worth at 70 pound 80 pound a month in terms of buying because it's that extra add-on. Whereas the realms of 20,000 pounds in the past just didn't seem worth it. I want to make this quick point. Numbers are somewhat overrated for the vast majority of golfers. And whether you're a young golf coach or potentially looking at purchasing something like this to help your golf game, most importantly, knowing what the numbers mean. And secondly, knowing when you need numbers and when you don't. And I wouldn't trade any which way of how I learned to teach this game. This is what we're trying to be better at. And too many people get obsessed with creating good numbers and not a repeatable golf swing when they're under pressure out on the golf course. So yes, this is fantastic bit of kit, but at the same time, it doesn't mean it's gonna make you a better golf coach. And it certainly doesn't mean it's gonna make you a better golfer. Right, that is enough cons, but it's gonna make a hell of a difference to the channel and the visuals and the data. We have this little alignment pole, as you can see here, so you can see how far offline the monitor itself it's incredibly important knowing where you're aligned to especially with the data club path swing path i can't believe the swing path and ball data are all in one place on this device and the fact that i mean it's tiny look i can just bring this out to the golf course it's gonna make such a difference secondhand club fittings i'm going to try and get subscribers on the channel we'll go through your bag we'll hit data see your old equipment should you keep it should you not keep it and i want tons of suggestions in the comments below i'm away in ireland i'm going to do some thinking what videos would you like to see and obviously old equipment new equipment and just general ideas for the channel. So we need to align this to the flag. Flag's over there. I'm gonna go probably about that, I'd say, something like that, yeah, about that. And then we obviously move the device itself because that's where we want it to aim, not obviously the other way around. 0.9, 2.6, 0 0.1, that will definitely do. The screen doesn't flicker, that's just my frame rate on the camera. And there's only one other thing that we now need to do. Take the magic stick away pop the ball on the tee we're ready boys and girls right first shot of the gc3 let's hope we don't shank it as our first recorded shot dinny but we like it look guys our first numbers now i haven't put the little dot on the face yet which manages the club head speed hence why you haven't got any of that and we're going to do that now and i guess like all launch monitors i should probably laser our distance as well. I think that's pretty much pin high. I mean, it's just spat out 172 in terms of ball distance. So that should literally be 
directly in line with the flag. Well, to be fair, it did say 172 carry. Just didn't account for a bit of damn breeze. Right, the next element, the dots on the face to get some club data. I'm gonna put one on my wedge, and I'm also gonna go and then put one on my driver in a minute to get some club head speed and ball data. Slightly heavy, adrenaline was pumping. Club head speed, 41.6. Angle attack, club path, ball speed, carry, launch. What else do you need? And to be fair, that's a great question because you're probably asking why would you spend another 12,000 pounds on a GC quad when this gives you club path, gives you angle attack, gives you club head speed. You can't get club face, you can't get lie angle at impact, you can't get strike location. And these things can and will help a club fitter or a very advanced golf coach. But for me, that's testing equipment that's 10 years old that just needs to know how fast I'm swinging it, how fast the ball's coming off the face and how far the ball's going with some idea of club path I mean, there's not really anything else I need, to be honest. Let's finish off with some early morning drive. Just gone eight o'clock. I'm getting all the excuses that I can in now. I've only got my players tee. I haven't got my long drive tees. I'm using a Nike Mojo set of golf balls. So therefore the ball speed's gonna be incredibly low and I'm incredibly weak. But this is the thing. Now I've got something to measure my club head speed. The long drive is definitely back on. And this opens up a world of possibilities in all levels of videos and club testing going forward which is why i'm incredibly excited in terms of the possibilities that this device will be able to provide going forward if you like this video leave it a like subscribe if you're new catch you guys later